don't lie. Another man. Another. What you got, Craig? I'm broke as a joke. Y'all some high rollers, and y'all broke. What's up, family? Well, fuck you then, punk. Craig Stanley been acting funny lately. Dang, that's this one though, man. Come on, smoke it, go in. Man, I'm on probation, I can't see. Stop being a bitch and come on. Craig, if somebody comes, Wilson. Now they ain't trying to get involved with y'all. You don't get involved, I'm gonna knock your ass out too. Good evening. Good evening. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back with another episode. Uh, this evening, we had to check out my dude D-Boy again, man. We're going up against Troy Martin for the Cruiserweight title belt, bro. So you already know it's going to be lit, man. Um, He's been moving up through the ranks pretty fast, too. So uh, where you know, you're going to look up. And uh, we'll be going for the other belts, man. So if you ain't catch up to the other episodes. Make sure you check them out, too. We got more of these dropping, too. So stay in tune, man. Got a bunch of these coming. So uh, if you're feeling the series of, the, uh, uh, deep, of my new fighter, Debo, make sure you hit that like button. Come across the channel. Feeling the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. He is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. Time for our tale of the tape. First up, the wild one. And this boxer not gonna throw the first punch. They prefer to answer yours. They're a counter fighter. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from the United States of America, wearing the blue trunks trimmed with black, the wild one. Fighting out of the blue corner from the United States of America. Wearing the black trunks trimmed with black. Super Sonic! So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves, and get prepared for battle. So, all the talking's done. Now, let's get down to action. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. And there's the bell to start the round. Good punch. Got out of the way that right hook. Straight right just misses. Jab doesn't quite connect. <laughs> These punches coming from every angle. <laughs> There's nothing quite like the chemistry between a fighter and their coach, and this partnership is working great. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. So I gotta respect both of them more than this one. Straight right just misses. One punch could change anything when these two step in the ring. The counter line. Let's see what the judges' scorecards read. There are no losers in this one. 
Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. They ring the bell, and here we go. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent run, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because it's down. Which fighter will say no loss? Nice counter punch right up the middle. This boxer is a real hook specialist. Their opponent has got to watch out for him. How about that time counter shot? No rest for the weary. This could be the end. Bambi legs are sticking in. Look at those legs. The legs have gone. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. How is he on his feet? This doesn't make sense. Now he's got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back in it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back up. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What do you do? What do they do? So much bruising. Will the referee stop this fight? Are you all right? Are you okay? So apparently the referee deems it's not that serious. And this fight moves on. Nice defense on that jab. Round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. This fighter has a very good win-loss record and will be tough to beat. Try to keep those gloves up, but every time he drops them to throw a punch, he gets caught. Stumbling around in potholes, in serious trouble. Oh, I heard that never by so it. Apparently no rest for the weary. Thought about taking a breath, but instead, he's in there throwing bombs again. What caught sleeping on the job? What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought this was way too finished round. But look at it. Look at the movement. Look at the speed. Back on it. Like it never happened. Two big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Are we about to see a first round knockout? He's left to go. He's got to get a hands up. It's the survival instincts that get him on. Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot. The fighter's vision is paramount, and the referee may stop it here. The fight is over. Will this fight continue? No, it will not. They're going to stop it. This should have a very competitive. Another stoppage win for the resume. An excellent performance for sure. What's next? A TKO makes it so confusing because you think, what would have happened if the fight carried on? These guys are going to have to do it all over again. Because the TKO, to me, it doesn't tell us the full story.